They gather in Orlando, and there is energy. They are there to learn, to feel a part of something, to create a synergy that feeds itself. Welcome back to our 2011-2012 National Executive Council. This is the National FCCLA Convention, where future leaders learn from each other. The components of what makes up society is contained within our organization, family, community, and career. Because that's really what it's all about. And, and as in part of our mission statement, family is the core of who we are as a society. Please help me in congratulating our Alumni and Achievement Award winner, Miss Nancy Dahl. It's very humbling to get the award. I was a junior in high school representing the state of Minnesota as a state officer. And so to be recognized as an alum for accomplishments that frankly were built on the foundation of FCCLA is tremendous. Uh, I'm very humbled and honored and with a great sense of pride get to represent the organization now in a different way in a different capacity. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. They hear from speakers who have walked in their shoes and then went on to do great things in the world. Thank you for this honor to be recognized by an organization that I hold quite pride and I'm glad that I was, can call myself an alum. As a state officer, it was 34 years ago, I attended a conference in Miami. It's had a profound effect on me as a person, graduating from a small town and graduating class of 42. It is here that they digest that message, for it is where Nancy has been that they want to go, to a place in life that is fulfilling. So there's a tremendous uh, emotional, I think, uh, relationship that's developed between uh, these student leaders uh, and their teachers and each other. Yes, it does start in schools, but there is something that cannot be replicated there. It is when people come together and learn together and share together. I can do it, but drop the butt <laughs> and just do it because you can. See, this journey is about turning potential into talent and nurturing it every day. I think this national conference is a, is a huge deal because you get to see all the other chapters from across the country, see what they've been doing, so that you're able to uh, feel like more of a bond. Usually you don't see that because you're just with your own chapter and uh, within your own uh, county or district. And it's about the teachers that inspire the students to want to do well, all coming to one place. It has been the ride of my life. We have been extremely busy going to cluster meetings, district meetings, local and state meetings, all across the United States, and it has been a wonderful experience. Write your own definition of Creative Commons, please. Quickly do this now. So they see the faces, feel the challenges, and man, do they embrace it. One of the uh, advantages that we have uh, as a uh, organization is that Family and Consumer Sciences serves as a basis for the essential skills that students need, whether it's, again, in their family or in their community. So it's about critical thinking. It's about how you plan. It's about how you take advantage of opportunities that will affect what's going on both in your family as well as in your community and obviously in your personal career. A lot of the work that I did as a junior in high school um, has helped a lot in public speaking and organization and helping work with schools and community involvement and in dealing with conflict. Um, it's a great experience and, and I think it's biggest challenge is people just don't know about it but when you do it's phenomenal. Don't Stop Believe It, the perfect song for the people of FCCLA. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a lifetime.